Some old ghoul from before the war once told me that people dreamed of a better tomorrow. I just dream of surviving to tomorrow. It's gotten me this far and I intend to keep on moving. Something that a scavenger named John had to learn after losing his friend and his girl. The sad story that his bright town had one more utterance left in it. To help out Lot, we went over to a shop owned by a real piece of shit named Danny. He wanted money from that nice old ghoul called Old Fart by the locals at that nearby saloon. In exchange, he told us where to find our next clue and my job to find Lot's sister. But I swear to you, we're gonna come back and it won't be with bottle caps in hand. That led us to Ethan, a solitary guy who helped out the group that attacked Lot's caravan. Ethan's information led us to the city, where we found the group that captured Lot's sister. They wanted him dead. I found out that deceiving fuck is a slaver. I don't care what you have to do to get by, whether it's selling your body or digging a hole, but you don't take a man's freedom from him. I did convince the zealots to let him go. We found his sister, dead on a table on the fifth floor. Afterwards, Lot and I parted ways. I don't miss the guy. Remember the story about that hero, the hanged man? Well, I met him. Windpipe was crushed by a noose and I swear to you, he's just a good guy. He's got an eagle's eye and he's agreed to help me out. Now for me, I gotta pay back these exiles for saving me. We've gotta go find out what we can about the bodies. Wolfpack is still out there. Alright. Driving on over, we're gonna park it over here now. Yeah, that should do it. I've got my buddy here, the hanged man. And he's gonna follow me into battle. <laughs> it's gonna be a battle for sure. Oh! That's where the vertebrate went down. Okay, we'll go there in a moment, but who's over here? Let's have a look. Oh, there we are. Courier, I'm glad you've recovered. I'm hoping you could be of some use to us. Tell me the situation. The Legion bastards strung Wolfpack's corpses to crucifixes in the middle of the area to try to bait us into their traps. They have snipers surrounding the area and have landmines scattered around under the snow. We can't get any closer than this without getting killed. Okay. I'll see what I can do. Good luck out there, Courier. Thank you. I'll be sure to be careful. Normally I wouldn't do this at all. I wouldn't even consider it. Bodies can decay, and that's alright. Let them. The person who once inhabited that body is gone, but out of respect to what they did for me, I'm going. Now we're gonna have traps over there, so I think what I'll do, I'll go through what appears to be a bar or something over here. I remember them mentioning another bar, the Wasted Angel. That could be it right over here. Yeah. I'm gonna go in there real quick, and if anything, if we could find someone new to join us, that would be even better. I could use a bit of help, you know. Well, here we are. What a quaint location. I like it a lot here. All right, let's have a conversation, me and you. How's it going? Hi, I'm Soliana, the handy girl. Need something fixed? Yeah, maybe. No, I'm not gonna tell her that. How about we go back to your old business for an hour? I'll pay real well. See you around. Yeah, Finn Harper's not really interested. He's an older guy and he's had his time. It's not that he wouldn't enjoy it, no. It's just more about his interests. All right, going out now. His interest often involves wanting to, well, shoot a few people and to make some coin. He's had his time being married. Oh, hi, drunk guy, relatable. Leave me alone. Okay, I can do that for you. Who else do we have here? I'm absolutely going to chat a little bit and just see what's going on. Whoa, you look harsh. You want to talk? Buy me a drink. Otherwise, get out of my face. I've been there, pal. Huh, I'm not going to challenge him to a fight and I'm not going to play caravan. How about we talk first? If I find you interesting, then I'll buy you a drink, pal. Great. A salesman. Forget the drink. Just talk and get over with. Let's get this over with. I got you. Alright. Let's see. You here often? What's your story? Or can you train me, really? No. 
Get lost. What's he good at? I mean, is he like someone really talented? Later, Combs. I'll talk to him more later if I need to. Right now, I don't feel the need to. There's Marty. Hey, pal. Welcome to the Fix It. If you need guns or ammo, I'm your guy. If you need your stuff fixed, talk to Sylviana. Oh, and before you try it, Sylviana ain't selling her ass no more. There's plenty pussy just out the door, or a few tipsy scabs you can take home over at the bar. Hey man, I had a feeling. Alright. What have you got in stock? I got all the stuff you need to survive in this frozen shitterland. I believe that, buddy. I do believe that. But let's have a look real quick. Okay. Full plate armor. Interesting. I might have a look at that in more detail later on. He's got a few weapons, too. Here's a carbine. But nothing that I really need. I'm taking my time right now because we're about to engage in a lot of action. We're going to have to fight snipers and other issues like that, even landmines. Hey there, kid. Sit, relax, and have a drink or two. Okay, you're actually particularly horrific for a ghoul. I'm looking for someone to travel with me. Do you know anyone who might want to tag along? Hmm. You see that guy in the corner there drinking his ass off? Maybe hard to believe, but he used to be a merc. Pretty good one at that. His name is Donovan. Maybe he could put you in contact with one of his old pals. He's pretty aloof. You know what? I'll go talk to him. Later, kid. Sure. Yeah. He looks a lot like me when I was his age. There he is. I'm gonna have a little sit down. What are you looking at? Hey, calm down. You Donovan? I'm looking for someone to travel with. I was told you could help me. That's so. Yeah, I might know someone. But I think I need another glass to refresh my memory. <laughs> hey, me too, buddy. Sure thing. Watch him quickly down his drink. Oh, he's got a drinking problem. Oh, boy. <laughs> Did that go down smoothly? What are we talking about again? Can you point me to someone who could accompany me in my travels? I wish I could, kid. But I burned all britches when I left the job. Ain't nobody left from that life would even look at me. And you? I hear you could hold your own back in the day. There's got to be some fight left in you. Look at me. Is this the kind of person you want watching your back? Hey, man. Look at me. Something tells me you would do just fine. Your gut telling you that? <laughs> It doesn't matter. I'm done with all of that. Why did you leave the job, buddy? Gotta say, you've shown an awful lot of interest in me. What's your game here? Yeah. What, I can't ask a couple of questions without having ulterior motives? Ulterior, not ulterior. I don't know. In my experience, people really don't give a damn what you have to say. Unless they got some kind of personal stake in it. But all right. Why'd I leave the job, you ask? Let's just say it was leading me down a path I didn't care for very much. Can you elaborate? Sure I can. Don't want to, though. All right. What if I tell you my story? Actually, here's a drink. You're trying to get me drunk so I start talking. <laughs> because I'm okay with that. Okay. Let's see here. I'm gonna make up a story. It's more true than the other one. Whoa! If that's true, you got quite a story right there. I guess it's my turn now, huh? All right. See, my old man was a merc. One of the best. Taught me every trick of the trade, so it only made sense I put those skills to good use. I never really liked doing it, though. Young fool that I was. In the beginning, I thought I could just work on a protection detail or something. And only for good, honest people. Keep it clean, you know. It doesn't work like that, though. No, it does not. But I'll bite. What do you mean, buddy? Well, you just can't afford to be too choosy about the jobs you take. Not unless you want to starve to death. So you start making compromises, one after another. Till one day you wake up and you realize you're too far gone. You've lost yourself. Is that what happened to you? Uh-huh. Man, when Dan came along, well... 
That was the last straw. Dan. Yeah, merchant of sorts. Some poor bastard owed him cats. So Dan hired me and one other merc to go with him and teach the guy a lesson. I figured we'd only trash his place a bit, maybe rough him up a little, standard stuff. But the idiot fought back. Well, but shit like that happens sometimes, you know. I've seen it go down a hundred times before. So what was it about this one that made you quit? See, the man had a wife and two sons. They weren't in the house when we got there. The wife and the younger boy caught us on the way out. They'd only come two minutes later. Because Dan was going to get his money's worth one way or the other. He grabbed the wife. The other merc caught the kid. Told me to get a rope. But I just stood there. Told me again. I turned around and I walked away. I didn't help him do it, but sure as hell didn't do anything to stop him either. Oh man. All right. So that's why you're drinking yourself into oblivion. I tried, you know. I tried real hard to leave it all behind me, pretend it never happened. But if you got a shred of decency in you. All the shitty things you do are bound to come back to haunt you, sooner or later. You know what I'm talking about. I mean, you killed. I could tell that much. They'd ever keep you up at night. Let me think about that. Sometimes, taking a life is no small thing, even if most people treat it like it is. <laughs> yeah, you're really something else. You know that. <laughs> and I mean that as a compliment. So what exactly happened to the man's family in the end? What do you think? From what I've been told, at least the boy died quickly. The woman wasn't so lucky. I don't know where the older son was at the time or what happened to him after all that. Nothing good, I'd imagine. All right. Let's have a look over here. If it bothers you that much, maybe you need to, I don't know, make amends or whatever. And how am I supposed to do that? Look, I'm telling you, find Dan and end the bastard. I'm a little too old to be playing vigilante, kid. Besides, what good would that do now? Hey, listen, I could do it. Well, you've got to do something. You won't be able to keep this up for much longer, I can tell. Huh. Maybe you got a point. I guess I should go try to find the boy. Try to get some kind of closure. <laughs> Even if it comes a muzzle velocity. Yeah. I've got to do this. Look. I'll come with you. You'd do that? Yeah. Alright. I guess it wouldn't hurt to have company. We'll go to the old boy's house then. I don't know if he's still there. If he's even alive for that matter. But we gotta start somewhere. But not just yet. I should probably wait till the booze wears off. Fiber should help speed things up. I got you. Okay. But we're still going to kill Dan. Got to tell you that now. I do not want Dan alive. I fucking hate that guy. He had me rip off old fart. And that really grinds my gears. I think I'm going to give him Lot's machine gun. Well, it's not really Lot's. I gave it to Lot to begin with. Okay, Donovan. I know that you're new here, but we've got a job to do. Now, the hanged man is wearing my old outfit, and I'm wearing his. We could potentially drive my doom buggy up there, but those landmines will go off quickly. Option two, we just try to sneak in. Now, there's a lot of snipers, too, and I could take some damage. It's a nice open field. They know that we're coming in. Ooh, that's a real tough one. Wait, I have an idea. I know what we'll do. Now, I did buy that scav armor for Donovan over here. It wasn't cheap at all. I don't have a lot of caps left. But, what's over here? Is it a real mechanic? You're kidding me. I wonder, can I buy modifications? Something you need? Hey, Rudy. I don't need a new vehicle, but what do you have? Well, I got the three-wheeler. It's a small, compact car. 
It doesn't offer much protection, but it'll get you in and out of tight places. Then I got the buggy, a fast car. Great for traversing the wasteland or just getting you out of a dangerous situation. It can be modified with a buzzsaw turret to slice your foes in half. Then there's your run-of-the-mill van. It offers a middle ground between protection and getting you to where you need to go. It's also good for mounting a machine gun turret to the roof, in case you need to make some Swiss cheese. If you're looking for something with a lot more armor, the fire truck may be what you want. The hose can be easily modified into a flamethrower to help provide warmth to those freezing out there in the frontier. Finally, I got the treaded bus. It's a big, slow tin can with treads, but once you got a missile launcher mounted to the top, you won't regret it. I've got to make a lot more money. All right, let's go over here. I need you to add mods to my vehicle. Let me take a look at what you got here. Yeah, that tin can looks like it could use some upgrades. What do you want done to it? Oh, you know, the armor mod. I'll have it ready for you in an hour. So take a look at what we have over here. I've got my armor mods. Let's go around real quick. Yeah, instead of like driving through, why don't we go in like the back way? I think that's a much better call. Why would I go right through where they want me to go? It's an obvious choice, sure, but I'm not here to do the obvious. I'm here to stay alive, man. So we'll go in right through here. And normally, I would just like travel there on my own time, but we've got a Doom buggy, and I want you to check it out. All right. Oh, man. There's a lot of assassins out there. All right, let's go. I need to watch out for mines, too. Do they know I'm here? Caution. Okay. So I just need to patch things up a little bit. I'm going to wait for my stamina to go back up. As long as I can stay hidden, I'm going to try it out. Danger. I do understand. Oh, they know. They know that I know. Let's grab them. Hold on, I'm not running yet. There's hard case. Look at that covering fire. Thank you. Whoa, good shot. Hanged man, you're incredible. All right, well, I'm moving again. I took some damage, but I'm mostly okay. So now we can go back to Officer Parks. We did our part, I think. Everyone calm down. Contrary to what you may think, we're not here to mourn these soldiers' deaths. We're here to celebrate their lives and the things they accomplished in their short time on this earth. They were, well, explaining who they were would be pointless. You already know the wolf pack, and you already know everything they've done. Together, they had a kill count in the hundreds. They fought bravely, without fear or hesitation, against all kinds of enemies, from the armored knights of the Brotherhood to the savage brutality of the Northern Legion. But that wasn't what made them who they are. That wasn't what made them the Wolf Pack. It was their compassion, their patience, their loyalty, their willingness to do the right thing, no matter the cost, that made them the Wolf Pack. And thus, they were elevated by us from mere soldiers to legends. They became our role models, our heroes, our greatest champions. No amount of retribution or target practice is going to bring them back, but we can still honor them by continuing to follow the ideals they gave their lives for. We can and will continue to fight for freedom, for equality, for unity. In these past weeks, my judgment has been called into question more times than I care to admit. Most of you have criticized me in hushed whispers. Others have been more obvious in their disapproval. That is why I am here today, standing with these fallen heroes, to ask you for your trust in these difficult times. For these are the times that precede our finest hour. The Northern Legion have fallen. The Liberator is close to completion, and now that Courier 6 is here, true freedom is within our grasp. I know that many believe that Courier 6 is a waste of time, that one person certainly isn't worth the lives of the Wolf Pack, or the many others who died that day. But the Courier, this man, will in time prove to be our greatest asset against all of our enemies. 
I'm not asking you all to trust Courier 6. That may be too much right now, but if not him, then trust me. Trust me. Trust. That's all I ask. That is all. I'll open the stage for anyone else who would like to say a few words. If there's anything you want to say, Courier, the stage is open for you. Interesting. I didn't really know them. I just got here. Alright, let's see here. Let's have a look now. I didn't know Wolfpack all that well, but I know what they did for me, what they sacrificed to make sure I got to stand here. No, I'm not going to say sorry. I'm going to level with you all. This sucks. That much is obvious. But we can't just sit around here and mope all day. We still have a war to fight. Fan hut! Ready! Aim! Fire! Ready! Aim! Fire! They're quick. Ready! Aim! Fire! Well, no. When you're ready, meet me in my office. I need to discuss some things with you. I bet you do, pal. Alright, here's my two teammates. Done a lot of work. And I'm now at a new level, really. I've got very high skills as it currently stands. Alright, I suppose what I'll do, I'll pick up medicine for one. Hey man, I'm here to survive. There. Don't get a new perk, unfortunately. The Liberator. I suppose we'll find out all about that. Yeah, I'm very sorry for your loss, all of you. I wonder who's over here. Who are you? Oh, just a trooper. A lot of dead troops. Alright. I'm gonna go get my Doom Buggy, then we're heading back out. I've gotta go talk to Blackthorn again. I haven't been back here for a while, not since I was nearly dead. That feels like an age ago. Alright, Blackthorn, tell me about your big plot. Courier. Come, take a walk with me. Yeah, sure. Oh, look who it is over here, Tiberius. Oh, I haven't met her yet. Oh, well. Alright, so he's following too. And yeah, he did mention the Liberator. It's got to be all about that, I'm sure. Let's go down. I think it's time I show you the real reason why we have been fighting and freezing our asses off in this godforsaken wasteland. The reason why my men continue to suffer and die here. I'm sure you've learned by now that we're not working for the NCR. We are a splinter group who have removed ourselves from Kimball and his narrow-minded conquest to expand the NCR's territorial grasp. We're not against the New California Republic. I believe the NCR to be the best hope to have come out of this post-apocalyptic world. But I blame Kimball for what he has done to it. He turned the NCR into a warmongering nation that no longer cares for its own people. He is willing to sacrifice whatever and whoever in order to satisfy his grandiose vision for the NCR. <sighs> My boys, they've been through a lot. Kimball forced them to fight during the Brotherhood of Steel War. Most of them were young kids with little to no combat experience. But to Kimball, they were just conscripts to be used as cannon fodder. However, they still fought hard and bravely only to die for a cause not of their own. I promised those boys, those men, their freedom. Wait, didn't he send his own men to die for a grandiose vision too? Oh boy, introspection is not really your thing, huh, Blackthorn? I'm an old guy, but I can call a spade a spade, you know? Oh, we are going down, wow. Want me to do it? Something you needed, Courier? Oh, he made it Once here too. Once we finally crushed the Brotherhood at Helios 1, I thought it was finally over. We'd won the war, but at a heavy price. Over half of my battalion was wiped out in the assault. All good kids. I remember each and every one who died under my command. The lives I couldn't save. The only peace of mind I had was that the rest were to be sent home where they'd be free from any more war. Where they could hopefully live the rest of their lives in peace. Or so I thought. Only a few months after taking Helios, 
The Legion were making a push for Hoover Dam shortly after wiping out the NCR's most eastward stronghold, Fort Aradash. Suddenly, I saw it happening all over again. More kids being sent to their deaths. More families being torn apart and forced to serve as conscripted cannon fodder. More soldiers left forever scarred and broken by the atrocities of war. Yeah, sure. War is truly an awful experience for those who are forced to fight in it. That's something I wish those who wage war would understand. Kimball was, of course, determined to hold Hoover Dam at all cost. He ordered my men and I to reinforce the dam. I had two choices. Lead my men into another bloody war, only to satisfy Kimball's vision, or leave the NCR and be labeled as a deserter. I chose the latter. Yeah, I know. You know what? I can't blame you, sure. Do your own thing, man. I'm glad you understand. It was not an easy decision. I had to leave much of what I believed in behind. What did you believe in? I would love to know. Because you took your boys away to fight for a lifetime? I mean, they've been doing nothing but fighting. Huh. We're going deeper, okay. Those who followed me only did so because they believed in me. I did not force anyone to come to the frontier. These men and women look up to me as their leader and I will not fail them. It is my duty to one day bring these people back to the Republic and set things right. So ultimately, you aim to start a revolution within the NCR. A peaceful revolution without any bloodshed. We only aim to remove that warmonger, Kimball, from power so the NCR can finally get back to focusing on the welfare of its own citizens. Oh, interesting, okay. I'm actually very curious, how do you suppose you're going to do that? That is what I am about to show you. All right. Hey, you need to show me. It's gotta be something crazy. Something very powerful, maybe. Who's over here? Huh. Might talk to her later. All right, let's go follow him. Oh, holy hell. What is going on in here? What you see before you, we call the Liberator. Now that's incredible. How's that even possible? Wow. Okay, I kind of get it now. That's a very powerful weapon to have. You just need a mobile suit and white base. <laughs> then we'll be good. But have a look at that. Oh, that is one mighty fine construct. Does it need something? I can't imagine the fuel source for it. What it could be, I mean. An awe-inspiring relic of the old world. It appears to have been some kind of prototype airship that was left unfinished beneath the airport. With this fully restored, it would certainly turn the tide for us in our conflict with both the Legion and Kimball's NCR. However, in its current state, it can't even get airlifted. It's essentially a massive paperweight while in this hangar. This is where your help is needed, Courier. Okay. I'll do what I can. Follow me. There is still much to discuss. You do like to talk a lot. I mean a lot. So we're gonna follow him wherever he's gonna lead us right now. Are we going down lower? Like, yeah, we're going as low as we can. We're going through the planet. One of our greatest threats we face in the frontier, apart from the inhospitable weather and landscape, is, of course, the Legion. You may be aware that this isn't the same Legion as seen in the Mojave. They are more or less tribals who have pledged allegiance to Caesar's legion. They weren't much of a threat when we first arrived. But, somehow Caesar learned of our presence here and sent his legate, Marcus Valerius, and Frumentari to spearhead the tribals against us. 
Alarmingly, the tribals have outnumbered and even outgunned us in a number of ways. Because of their nativity to this region, they have proven to be far more versatile and have been gathering resources and territory faster than we can compete with. They continue to encroach on us, even after our recent affair with them, which has left my army crippled. On top of that, I have reasons to suspect that the Legion of Spies within our own ranks. The reason why we suffered such heavy losses during our assault to rescue you was most likely due to a breach in our invasion plans. The Legion already had their artillery aimed at my fleet before they even reached into enemy territory. So many of my men slaughtered before their boots could even touch the ground. Furthermore, we have had supplies and weapons go missing from our stockpiles, most notably our tank busters. While their use by the Legion and even scavs has become more frequent in recent events, resulting in greater losses of our tanks and vertebrates. If you have any information of a potential breach in our ranks, I must be informed of it. Yeah, sure. You can finally tell him about that one guy that we saw before, Dolus. Dolus? Where have you heard of this? While I was being interrogated by the Legion, a Frumentarius Dolus was mentioned in a message to Valerius. Hmm. This seems to confirm my suspicions that Valerius was tipped off just before the assault. Now we at least know this Dolus is the one we need to look out for. This is invaluable information. Good job, Courier. I currently have Rancor investigating any suspicious activity. He's not just my personal bodyguard, but also my top reconnaissance agent. He's my eyes and ears in the frontier. I got you. Where are we going, man? Something you needed, Courier? Yeah, to know more. Click to know more. Okay, so we're going on to the Liberator. I wonder what he's wanting to show me. I mean, I could be halfway done with the job by now if he just told me what he needed. Who's over here? Oh, that guy that we saw earlier. What an interesting arm. I want my own cybernetic arm, buddy. Lap one. Interesting. What is it? Oh, I can't talk to it? Okay, I was wondering. Ah, this here is Wei, my lead engineer on the Liberator, who you may have already met. Yes. Hello, Courier. As much as Blackthorn may think I need your help, I will have this aircraft fully functional in only a matter of time. You'll see. You'll all see. I believe you, man. Alright, anything I could do to help? Well, since you're asking, I could use 12 duct tape, 11 pilot lights, 10 leaf blowers, 9 leather belts, 8 milk bottles, 7 scrap metal, 6 garden gnomes, 5 golden gecko eggs, 4 cherry bombs, 3 fission batteries, 2 teddy bears, and a, uh, brahmin in a talking tree. Ha, huh. okay. What can you tell me about the Liberator? It's an aircraft carrier that flies. What more is there to say about it? It's just like all the other pre-war monstrosities. It'll be a miracle if it actually flies, but luckily for us, I'm that miracle worker. Okay. How did you come to work for Blackthorn? Blackthorn came to me after his troopers stumbled across my robot army I had been constructing. Robot army? Why, yes! Ever since I could wield a soldering iron at the ripe old age of two, I have been reconstructing old electronics back into working order. I guess you could call me a prodigy. <laughs> My robot army was all I really needed in life. Until Blackthorn offered me to come work on the Liberator, an opportunity and challenge I could not pass on. So here I am, using my robots to rebuild this war machine. That is pretty incredible. I would go now, nerd. You see what we have all been working for. I hope you understand how important it is that we reach our goal in time. God forbid any of this technology ever falls into the wrong hands. Who could use it? Man, how did Rancor become your top reconnaissance agent? He was originally a member of the first recon unit back in the NCR. Rancor and his unit were the first to breach Helios-1 during our battle with the Brotherhood and managed to sabotage much of their defenses. It was his cunning tactics during that battle 
that greatly reduced the amount of casualties we suffered. And just like the rest of the men here, he believes in ridding the NCR of their corruption. I trust him with my life. I gotcha. I mean, we could have done that, or you could have done that whenever you were trying to save me. Where do I begin? Ideally, I plan to put your skills of exploration to good use and have you scavenge any remote locations that may contain the components needed to complete the Liberator. Sure, okay. General Blackthorn, sir. Whoa, take it slowly. Breathe. Now, what is so important that you ran all the way down here? I just got word of a possible enemy attack on the airport. Are you sure of this? Yes, sir. Reports are coming in from all over of a large group of scav vehicles heading towards the airport as we speak. Uh, all right. We'll handle this back at the airport terminal. And Tuner, next time remember to use the intercom. Yes, sir. Sorry, sir. Bright guy. Yeah, let's get out of here. According to these projections, the scavs have been moving closer and closer towards the airport, and without hesitation, it appears. It won't be long before they reach our walls. How many would you say there are? At least a couple dozen retrofitted vehicles. That's a massive mechanized unit. Why would they suicidally come at us like this? They must think we are still weak from the recent battle with the Legion and are attempting to finish us off. But we'll let them know we're not finished here just yet. What's the plan, sir? Send a column of tanks to intercept and ambush them. We'll wipe them out before they reach the airport. Yes, sir. I'll gather the men. Sergeant Johnson, alert the rest of the men. The base is to be on full alert. Yes, sir. Courier, I'll need your assistance on this. You'll go with the tank crew to intercept the scavs. Hell yeah. You know what? I get to drive a tank. I appreciate the enthusiasm. However, you won't need to drive it. Maybe afterwards we'll teach you how to drive one. Hell, if you wipe out these scavs, I'll give you your own personal tank. Go speak to Watchman in the maintenance hangar. He'll give you the rundown. And make haste! My day just got a little bit better. You know what? I'm in. Oh boy. The tall guy over there. Alright, Donovan. Man, let's go. We need a good name for him. Do I call him Hanged? Do I call him Man? I have no idea. Anyway, off to my tank. My boy would have loved that. Alright, Watchman, show me to my tank. Can you believe it? A tank battle and fallout. Look, I'm not complaining. I just want to blow stuff up. Good, you're here. We can set off now if you're ready. Yeah, sure. Let's go. Alright then. Let's get this show on the road. Get your hand out of my face. It's a bit cramped in here, but it beats being on foot. This armor can protect us from any small arms fire as well as the cold. We mostly just need to be on the lookout for any tank weapons and landmines. I've also heard rumors that the scavs are retrofitting their vehicles with explosives and suicidally ramming them into our tanks. So watch out for any vehicles with a large bomb strapped to it. Don't want them to get too close before they go boom. By the way, this is our driver, Matty. Salutations. He'll handle this tank like it's his steed. I'll be manning the machine gun and loading the cannon. You just need to aim and fire that cannon. That sound like something you can handle? Good. Take this machine gun. You'll be needing it. Now, open that hatch and take a look around your surroundings. Tank controls, okay. Fire cannon, space bar. Fire machine gun, left click, zoom, right click, toggle light, tab. Much easier to see from up there, yeah? Take a few practice shots at those vehicles across the river. Get a good feel for how long it takes to rotate the turret and how high to aim to get the proper distance with your shot. Okay. I think I kind of get it. There's one machine gun. That's pretty darn cool. Oh yeah. I like where I'm going. Did I get it? Almost. I mean, why are they suicidally ramming vehicles into our tanks? Aren't they only scavengers? Shouldn't they want to survive? Would that not be the purpose of scavenging? <laughs> Maybe I've misunderstood. I have no idea. No, I think I've got it under control. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I'll be all right. Maybe I shouldn't blow that one up. But here's our tank column. I'm in a tank column. What is my life? Woo. All right, let's shoot over there. It might take me a few tries to actually get a handle on the tank, but 
I think I'll be all right, you know? Probably. All right, so we've got four tanks total. Yeah, three plus mine. What have I found? Something new? Yeah, here's a few homes. I feel bad for all of you, especially you, buddy. I won't shoot you. Hopefully, you've got the hang of it by now. Hopefully. We're coming up onto our target. All right. Well, have a look at that. Now that's a problem. Oh, shit. Okay. Let's do our part. We've got to. We're gonna have to blow them all to shreds. That's a big bomb. It says, fuck you. Should I not shoot that? I feel like I shouldn't shoot that, you know. We need to cut them off. Move into battle formation. Yeah, agreed. Get me in there. We need to be in there right now. All right. Where's the closest one? Which direction? My left or my right? Yeah, okay, we got a few tanks. They better not all get blown up right away because let me tell you something. They have lost a lot Wait of resources. For them to come to us. Don't fire until they're in range. There's a vertebrate. Whoa. Hold on now. Let's get them. We got a few. Oh, I'm going to mess them up today. You don't understand. I have a tank. Your life is in a bad, bad place today. Oh, we're not done. That's a very armored vehicle. Hold on. I can't hit the one behind them. Shoot. Let me blow up a few more things around here. If I can. Come on. Maybe if I just move over here. I don't know. We got that van. Oh, that was too high. Okay, I'll keep on trying. That one's gone. For sure. I just had to be sure, you know. I mean, as speculated, it was fairly easy, I think. Did we lose any tanks? I don't believe we did, no. Alright, let's keep on attacking. I'm gonna try to hit that one back there if I can. Or actually, we'll just change the targets. They can help me out. Alright, now for that one. Ooh, that really shot a skew. Let me try a little bit higher now. All right, again, too high. The strange one, isn't it? I was closer. There we go. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Get me out of here, man. Did you hear that line? <laughs> Witness me. I'll try to, man. Whoa, hold on. Hold on now. That isn't okay. I gotta do something about them, huh? All right, got him. That was a much better shot, I think. Keep on attacking. All right, aiming lower was a bit of an issue, but I think I'm okay now. Let me get him. I wonder if I can bat fire at all. That would be pretty cool. Oh, hold on, hold on. Don't like that. Let me reload. Got him too. Cool. He's gone. You idiot. Oh, don't you do it. Okay, thankfully he was a very bad shot. There's more behind me. Got him too. Ugh. I knew that we would take casualties. I don't know if anyone's going to make it outside of me. I'm definitely going to make it. Wait, I, I can't see. Oh, no. Whoa, no! No, 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 no! Okay. That was bad. But I couldn't see. Got that one, too. Really close to me. I've got to watch out again. Wait, another one? Where? Oh, there it is. Come on. Got that one, too. How many more do you have? They're insane. It's like fighting a cult. Are you sure we're not fighting the Legion? It feels like we're fighting the Legion. Oh, shit. Come on. Got those two. That lined up perfectly, man. Looking around quickly. No more, right? All right. That should hopefully be it for them. Still a few 
remnants left. We should finish them off before they have a chance to regroup. Keep up with the other tank. We're the only two left. I mean, I'll do what I can. So I'm gonna follow him into battle. We'll probably get as close as we can. Sometimes the aiming can be a little bit off. Ooh, there's a lot of them. I'm going out over there. They're getting closer. I nearly got it. Hey, screw you guys. How about that? Anyway, let me keep on attacking. I've got to. Holy crap, that's a lot. You know what? I'll kill these guys over here first. Let's do that. Then we'll go after other people, you know? Ooh. Very frightening, by the way. Getting a lot of experience for sure. That's awesome. No one over there? Gotcha. Ooh, I want him to die. Let's try it again. Did I get him? Yeah. Alright, we're gonna circle around real quick. We just need some better perspective, you know? Ooh, there's a lot of vehicles here. I'll take care of it. Don't worry about it. Got him too. There's that one right over there, that big old vehicle. But it's gone as well. Alright, let's see. Who's shooting at me? Ah, you're still around. Okay, I couldn't quite see. There's a lot of flames, a lot of things happening, okay? Alright, our friend can't move. Come on. Get into proper working order if you don't mind. Alright, cool. So we get repaired whenever we're just sitting still. Nice. Whoa! Yeah, I don't want to group up at all. That's a bad idea. There's a lot of beagles here that could blow up too. Kind of nerve-wracking. But, there's people there, so I gotta shoot. Cool, we are fully patched up. I'm gonna stay out of your way. I'm just waiting. Oh, here comes a new wave. Here comes another one. Crap, crap, crap. Don't do it! You son of a bitch. I'm telling you, they're wild. Please tell me they'll have no strength after such an insane assault. If they're willing to blow themselves up, that's it, you know. That implies some type of, like, crazy fervor and disregard for their own lives, you know? Alright, let's shoot over there. I'm gonna back up a little bit. He's getting a little bit wild. Oh, sorry, Tank. Can I move up a little bit? I'm trying to not blow up that other car right by me. Hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna move in front of my tank in just a moment. Let's get that one. We got that one. Okay, cool. Ah, here we go. It's got to turn. A lot. Oh, come on. Let me get him. You know what? I'm going to come over here, I think, and just take him on. Let's do that instead. I'm taking a lot of damage right now. I'm going to sit still in just a moment. Oh, forget it. Just shoot him. Go get them, too. Still not quite making my shots. Got those. We've got two over here. I just have to like get them right by them in order to really take care of them. All right. Yeah, I need you to patch me up. I'm in bad shape. I'm in a bad place right now. Then I'll go back to help out once we're fully patched up. Oh man, what a fight. All right, I'm mostly patched up. I wonder, can I actually get around them? That would be pretty sweet if I could flank them. I'm gonna go around and try to help out. Of course, I could be flanked too, quite easily, in fact. We're just gonna go around right over here, I think. Oh. Oh, hi there. Yeah, don't you touch me, you son of a bitch. All right, so I'm gonna turn to the right once we get up here, and hopefully I can take out what's left of our enemies in a fallout tank battle. Take that. All right, I'm feeling better. Anyone behind us? Can't quite see yet. Is that tank moving? If it is, I don't know where it's going. I need to have a look around, I think. Let's go do that before more stuff pops up. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's probably waiting on me, so I'm going to get over there, and we can reconvene. Then we can push on. So far, though, my kill count, it's up there. Imagine if we had the wolf pack. Hmm. Much better kill count. Uh-oh. I heard another beep beep. 
Don't like it. How many more are we talking about? Damn. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. Here he comes. It's right by our other tank. They're holding on so far. Yeah, when you hear the beep beep, that's a sign to shit your pants. Alright, let's just start blowing everything up. Oh, no, I don't want to hit you. I do not want to hit you. There's two people up there. Let's get them. Actually, being on top of the machine gun would have been much more valuable to me. The accuracy of my gun would have been just a wee bit higher. Alright, so he's still moving. Man, their resource amount is the top, bar none. Oh, crap. Oh, crap. I'm going to need to be irradiated after we're done here. Just based off of what I've seen so far. Oh, shit. Here comes another one. Let's get him. Let's get rid of the big one first. There's still a lot of damage. All right. We got that one. The other one's... <laughs> he got caught in a tree. There's another one again. Come on. Got it. Hell yeah. Oh, not another one. Where is it at? I have no idea. Is it driving? Yeah, it's driving through. Got that one too. We're not done blowing everyone up yet. Hold on. I think that's just like shooting through for whatever reason. Let's get him. Got him. All right. I'm trying to stay out of the radiation. Oh. Did not work. All right. What did I get hit by? Oh, right behind me. I see one of them here. I don't think that's what's getting me, but... Oh, I see it now. It's obvious. It's right there. Hold on. Let's keep on attacking. Hey, you leave him alone. You know what? I'm going to go over here and just try to get you a close light. Because I don't think my shots are landing. It could be like clipping into some... Oh, shit. Thank you. Whoa. Actual help from a teammate. That's a shocker. All right, Blackthorn, what else do you need me to do? No air support? Wait, wait, hold on. Combined arms would have been the key here. Imagine vertebrates and tanks moving in. I thought they would have more defenses out here. Blackthorn, maybe this old Merc here needs to take command. I'm just saying. A little bit of thinking goes a long way, huh, pal? Ooh, ooh, do not like. Got that one again. All right, I need to move a little bit just to shoot the one way back over there. Didn't quite hit it. It's fucking accurate for sure. Come on. Hell yeah. All right. What else are we talking about? Oh, I see it now. You know, these are pretty shoddy looking vehicles, so it's not always easy to know what's functional or not. All right, I'm gonna back up a little bit, because I think I might be hitting the branches. Got that one too. All right, now we gotta go take out what's over here. Because they are fucking my shit up. You don't get to do that, pal. That's what I'm talking about. Hit him. Let's get him. Got him. Oh, I feel better. Okay. I got word that the last of them are gearing up for a final assault. We need to cut them off. A final assault? Oh, man. Okay. If you say so, pal. Do I need to drive now? Because if I don't need to drive, I'm okay with that. Oh, hell. Oh, my God. This is it. Hold your ground. It's time we finish this. What? No way! Hey, hold on! No! Oh. What is happening? What is happening? that great right now you're still alive i don't know what the fuck just happened but we need to get the hell out of here i already called in an evac they should be here shortly just 
Hang in there. Did did you see it? See what? That blinding light that wiped everything out? How the hell could I miss it? Well, yes, but also the vertebrate with the rocket boosters. Uh, you must have banged your head against something. You should conserve your energy. Help will be here soon. Oh, shit. I see. This is certainly unprecedented. If what you're saying about the beam of light is true, if what you're saying about the beam of light is true, then I fear this may have been the work of something I only thought was a myth. The Archimedes II death ray. The what now? Yes. We only found out about this death ray after seizing Helios I from the Brotherhood. Perhaps it was the reason they held out for so long. At best, the reports they gave seemed senseless, but I see now that they were completely accurate. Who could have access to such a powerful weapon? Hmm. It seems beyond the means of the Brotherhood, and of all the enemies we have been up against. Only the Enclave has had access to the kind of technology you're describing. But what are they doing in the frontier? The last reports we had pegged them fleeing eastward in massive numbers. There has been no organized resistance in the Republic for decades. Whatever their reason, they pose an unprecedented threat to our operations here. If they want to, they could wipe us out in the blink of an eye. You're not wrong. How can we go up against a threat like this? We need to tread lightly, Courier. You said you saw where that vertebrate of theirs was headed. Maybe we could track it down and find out what they're up to. Go speak to Officer Parks. He may be able to provide some assistance. I've already assigned him the task of gathering any information on the new threat. But be careful. We cannot afford any missteps. One more thing before you go. As promised, I've provided you your own personal tank for taking care of those scavs. You'll find it waiting for you outside the maintenance hangar. Take good care of it. I won't be able to provide you with another. Okay, so... I'm probably going to use it for very exact situations where I might just need a tank, okay? I don't want to waste my tank, and I feel like it totally doesn't fully fit in with the overall theme of Fallout. So again, I'll use it for appropriate measures and times, which means not all the time. But we are done for right now. We do have a tank. That's pretty wild. And right now, we need a break. Once we are back, we're going to help out Donovan. He's our buddy, and he could use our aid. Also, I just need to stretch out my legs for a little bit. Alright, I shall see all of you again very soon.